I'm going to review two tripods. Uh, both of these tripods are inexpensive and are probably for a videographer that's just beginning or maybe not just beginning and just doesn't want to spend a whole lot of money on a tripod or doesn't have a whole lot of money to spend on a tripod. If you try to use a tripod that's really built for photography like a uh, cheaper Targus that you may find in Walmart, it may not be suitable for videography because you don't have a video fluid head. So now let's talk about the mounting plate right here. One thing, there's nothing wrong with it. It's pretty good, it's sturdy, it's metal. When you're mounting a camera like this one, like a DSLR or something, you have to be careful the way you mount it. So if I set that to the middle, like so, and I mount it on this camera, the problem you're gonna have is now you, you really can't tighten it because this tightening screw for the plate is always gonna hit your DSLR. So what you have to do, and what can be frustrating sometimes if you don't practice it, is you have to slide the plate all the way to the back like this. And then you also have to have a tool with you to tighten it down, like this penny here. So you take your penny and you can tighten that down. Now you can screw this thing all the way in. One thing that I do like about this So the plate, the plate has these little, has this little screw tab on it. So you don't need to have a penny or a screwdriver or anything to tighten it. You just screw it right in. Um, only problem with the plate, the plate is kind of, it's kind of plasticky, uh, but it's a strong plastic. So you drop this on the floor, it's not gonna crack, it's not gonna break. It's, it's pretty durable. The other thing I like about this is when you insert the plate back into the tripod, you, you put it in and you snap it down so you know it's in because it makes a little click. The latch springs back and it's locked into place. I kind of like that instead of having to sit there and screw it in because like we saw with the other tripod, sometimes your camera gets in the way of that screw and it makes it difficult to screw in. The David and Sanford has the option of having two handles here so you can have it on the left or the right side and it comes with two handles I just only have one on it because two handles really just looks pretty goofy to me but with this one so right now it's, it's on the right side and you say wow well that kind of sucks you can only have it on the right side well not really because you can unscrew this take this out and you can switch it around it only takes a second and then you just simply take the camera off flip it around and now it's on the left side the center spreader on this one is like really, really not that strong. My only problem with it is if I wanted to put like a sandbag on this or something to weight it down, these are plastic. They're not even metal. They're not aluminum. They're not nothing. They're plastic. So if you put some, some weight on this, they may break. Uh, the other one is metal. That tripod is so heavy that I don't really need to put anything on it because it's probably not going to fall over anyway. This one's pretty light. If I was leaving this and I wasn't behind it, I'll be afraid because if someone bumped into that, it will probably fall over with my camera and that would really suck. It's cheap plastic. This thing, I can tell, will definitely break in time. It's not strong at all. So that's going to be a problem in the future. If you let this go, the camera just wants to like fall back down very quickly. So as you can see, you can raise it all the way up and then it just wants to drop back down. But the nice thing is just hold the handle and just bring it down. It's not necessarily terrible. The handle for the adjustment of the center column is also made of metal. 
and it's very strong. So that's not gonna break on you when you're cranking that handle. The center column raises up very, very high. Now, despite the fact that it raises very high, the only problem with it is, is that it takes forever to raise it because you gotta crank this handle. As you can see, it takes a while to get it back down. And you can't push it down. You can't push it down, that doesn't work. The legs have clips to adjust and they adjust in two sections. The clips are pretty rugged. Um, they feel very solid. You can tell they're not gonna break. This particular tripod has three sections. This cheaper tripod actually goes higher, believe it or not. Like I said, it has a maximum height of, I believe, 84. The other one has a maximum height of, I think, 78. The tripod bag for the Magnus is very small. You can really only fit the tripod in there. And maybe one or two small accessories, maybe a couple of cables, uh, you know, some lob mics or something like that. Uh, the bag itself is not as ruggedly built as the other bag. However, uh, it's still a nice bag. It holds the tripod with no problem. Uh, and, you know, the tripod's light, so you don't really have to worry about the bag ever ripping or tearing or anything like that. Uh, the bag is actually pretty big. It's well built. It's not going to break on you. I've had this tripod now for probably about, I want to say, two years. And um, I really haven't had a problem with it. It's done pretty well. No problems. And I can actually stuff the tripod in the bag and other gear as well. So I can put the tripod in there. I can put headphones in there, maybe a shotgun mic and some other accessories with no problem. Thanks for watching this video. There's gonna be more reviews on various pieces of equipment that I own, including some sliders and some rigs, and even the camera that I use to shoot this, which is the JVC 170U. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thank you.